for the first episode of the CEO's chair, we wanted to invite somebody who is not just a great mother, but a good wife, as well as an award-winning entrepreneur. She is the co-founder and board director at Indulgence Restaurants. She's also got an MBA in financial management from Manchester Business School. She has a master's degree as well as a gold medal from Pune University in organic chemistry. She's been a visiting faculty with SP Jain College. She's also held positions such as the CEO of Aptec International Business and a president and executive director at Datanamics Financial Services. Please join me in welcoming Mrs. Vidya Joshi to our studios today. Yeah, good morning, Siddharth, and thank you very much. Thank you for your kind words, and it's an honor to be here. Thank you so much, Vidya, and uh, thank you for making the time for us. So, Vidya, I don't even know where to start, honestly. Where, where did it all begin? I'm sure you've had an extremely exciting childhood. Uh, what's, what's one of the memories that has stayed with you all of these years? So, if I look back at the earliest uh, memories, and uh, I think it has to be the distinction that I got for my masters. Okay. And um, that was a personal challenge that I had set myself. Uh, for 16 years, uh, there was no distinction in Pune University. So, uh, you know, most people would want to be, you know, stand first in the university or stuff like that. For me, I took that as a challenge that I must get a distinction in my masters. So, uh, that was one of the fond memories. And then in the beginning of my career with Leavers, uh, three of my projects uh, transitioned from the lab to the pilot plant, okay, for production. That's amazing. And uh, I also had two pure research papers in uh, very prestigious foreign journals. And you had mentioned you started your career with Leavers, and you uh, literally had to fight for the first position that you got, is that, is that true? Yeah, I think they had a bias uh, for ladies working there because there was no, uh, there was no lady in the uh, chemistry labs uh, out there. So uh, I had to literally fight my way. Okay, I, I, incidentally, I had topped in the interview, but uh, because I was a lady and they were scared that I'd get married and you know uh, walk off, uh, I was not selected initially. But then afterwards, I think. Uh, yeah, I proved it, and Levers had a wonderful system at that time. So you had to you had to really present for every new project that you got. You had to spend a lot of time in uh, the libraries, and uh, Levers allowed you to, you know, forty percent of your time for pure research. So that was a big high, you know, for us. So we were not just doing development work for the company, but uh, we were doing pure research too. Help I I think that's great because you're not asking for preferential treatment, you're not asking for special treatment, you just want to be known by the work that you do, Absolutely. and which is the way that it should be, right? Absolutely. Great. And tell us about Datamatics Financial Services, how did that yeah, come So, around? okay, so, uh, so I, I started as a marketing executive and within seven years, I was handling the entire marketing and operations uh, for Datamatics. Uh, the business grew from what, about 44 lakhs when I joined to 2025 crores and in the service industry this That's is a awesome. big uh, thing i led and managed the world's largest uh, issue for unit trust of india the master gain issue in 92 which received a whopping uh, 65 lakh applications and 4700 crores wow it's a guinness book of world records uh, so so with master gain i really got into operations and and that's how you know, my journey began. And then for Datamatics and uh, later for Aptec, I set up the international uh, BPO uh, services, which is mm -hmm. in the non-voice uh, okay. sector. And, and tell me about your latest uh, uh, avatar as a co-founder and board director at Indulgence Restaurants. Okay, so that's, that's an easy one. <laughs> so I've always been passionate about food. Okay. Uh, all of us are. We are. I've spent most of my career in the services industry. Okay. So I always dreamt of uh, opening a restaurant. And I guess if you ask uh, you know, people in a room, 40, 50% would say, oh, the dream is to open a restaurant. Absolutely. But you actually went ahead. And we actually yeah. went ahead. And so in 2012, my son and I, we, dis we, we set about this venture. So uh, we started Krusty's. Krusty's is a bistro chain and bar. 
Okay. Uh, we serve modern European cuisine in a very contemporary chic bistro style ambience. And there's actually two locations here in Pune. We have two restaurants now and like you mentioned that uh, we have won uh, the Times Food Award uh, three times. We try to bring in most of our corporate learnings and the professionalism into this industry. Okay. Okay, so we have set up rigorous uh, processes and systems right from selection of our vendors to checking the produce that we get uh, to uh, the recipe management. And I think as an entrepreneur, what you've taken away from your corporate uh, roles and your experiences have been to keep your client and your customer central to uh, the way that you plan your entire Absolutely. business. Absolutely. Because uh, if you're selling something that nobody's buying, then you know that unfortunately. Absolutely. In fact, today you see work. pure product companies, how many are there? So unless there is a service aspect to it, customers are not going to come back and there's such a lot of choice there's so many options so it's only the service that is going to do this of course at the same time your product has to be good your product but yes if you have a family mm -hmm. i think uh, you need to have a you need to build a very strong uh, support system and like i tell many women is stop being a super mom okay it's foolish who are you you know fooling and who are you trying to tell that you are a super mom please take help whether it's your parents, whether it's your in-laws, whether it's uh, your family, friends, whatever. Take help. Don't be afraid to ask for help. And I've noticed, you know, a lot of women complain that has husbands don't help. But I think men, <laughs> I'm sorry to say, men are geared that way. Men never see, you know, on their own that they should do this. But, but at the same time, if you tell them that mm -hmm. these are your chores, I guess most people would do it. But you have to tell that this is yours, this is mine, and this is how we are going to manage. So essentially you're saying, don't ask for preferential treatment. Don't ask for preferential treatment, never. And secondly, if you need help, ask for it. Absolutely. Very allergic to the word failure. Okay. okay. So failure is a very uh, down, out, dead end word. So if you were to ask me my failures, I would say none. I really don't think that there has been anything in my life that has really put me out. Okay, I've always bounced back. But, but have I made mistakes? Of course I've made mistakes. Who, who hasn't? Who hasn't? Okay, have I had down days? Of course I've had down days. Who doesn't? Has, has uh, Krusty's been a cakewalk? Of course not. And there are always going to be these, uh, you know, things that you cannot control. So Vidya, there are a lot of young budding entrepreneurs that are out there that are just starting their journey. What are a few things that you'd like to leave them with? Well, I'll, it's not just one message. So just, just let me put it in a, very, in a nutshell. And uh, that is, you've decided to be an entrepreneur. So be prepared for the ups and downs. There may be more downs than ups. So celebrate every victory. Learn from every mistake. Keep recalibrating your business model, business strategy. Nothing is... Uh, stagnant in this world. You have to be reactive to the outside environment. The second thing is surround yourself with excellent people. See in the initial stage when you're starting up, the people that you have okay, are very different from the people that you'd probably take later on. Uh, not only they have to be hard working and self motivated, they must share the enthusiasm and the optimism of uh, the entrepreneur because otherwise you're going to have a lot of down days when if everybody falls down and everybody is morose you're not going to be able to work uh, another two key things that I'd like to say is when you start you don't really look at the costs and I think it's extremely important to keep costs in check because they can spiral out of hand very easily sure. okay so question do I really need these beautiful chairs or can I take them on rent? There's absolutely no harm in doing that. If you have this culture, or if you drive this culture very early on, it will really help you later on. And the second thing, is, the last thing that I'd like to say is that don't just run after new customers. Okay, Try and retain the ones that you have, the existing customers that you have. For very obvious reasons, there's no marketing cost, there's no sales cost, there's no setup time, there's no setup costs. And these guys, once they know you, they're going to you know, give you a larger share of their wallet. They're going to tell other people about you. 
and that's really going to be the best marketing that you can get that's amazing Vidya, thank you so much. I'm convinced even more after my interaction with you that there is nothing that you can't do. So I look forward to having you back sometime in the future. And thanks again for making the time. Thank you, Siddharth.